Racy there. Ancient vault of Bagano. Oh, it's on. Yeah, <laughs> look at his little legs. You're adorable. We're not finished yet. Okay, okay, he probably would have won. Probably. Maybe. Just maybe. Probably. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saying stuff in your robot language. All right. Health to me is a good uh, is always a good option. Teach me. I guess heading to the scary tunnel. Amazing. Wow. Yeah, he's right. This is pretty fucking cool. You all right, BD? Well done, whoever you are. You have passed the test I left behind and gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Ino Cordova. I may not know your name, but I know your purpose. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This place, this vault, is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the Force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron, containing a list of the names and locations of young Force sensitives throughout the galaxy. Ahead, you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the force as the Zepho once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zepho homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Good luck, Jedi. And may the force be with you. I guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. You know, I've been alone for a while now. Without any purpose, just hiding. There's no way to live. Not for a Jedi. Or a droid. Maybe Seer was right. Maybe we're done hiding. Hey. You want to meet some, uh, friends of mine? <laughs> so this is just, a uh, like, meditation temple? This isn't really nothing... Here. All right, so we gotta make it back to the mantis. Oh, fuck that noise. 
wouldn't even want to do that. I think I found what you wanted me to see. Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. I'm sure you will be. Really? Bitch! Oh fuck, I meant to dodge that. Bitch! Sliced you down the fucking face! Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, no, no scanning this time. BD. Alright. Well, that was pretty cool. So now he has the mission. Well, he's tasked with the mission of decrypting messages from the vaults as well as finding and gathering new force sensitives one? and trying to rebuild the Jedi Order Good job. before Luke does. Workshop. Just won't open. The door is locked from the other side. I'm pretty sure. How do I get inside that workshop, I wonder? Yep. Is there anything down there? No. No, there's not. My friend, it appears the Cepho had some interest in Dathomir. Strange. For such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. So he's saying these Zepho. Okay, I got ahead of Dathomir. So he's saying these Zepho were very wise in the ways of the Force. And he wonders why they're ahead, why they would head to such a dark place. Moving out. Honestly, I think the whole that's a big part of the the uh, mythos of Star Wars should be a lot quicker than the way is uh, the Jedi and the Sith spend too much time separated on fo and focusing on one section of this shit I think the force is supposed to be studied and accepted in both uh, light and dark So I think only when someone who is one with both will allow the conflict and other bullshit end. That's that's my thinking. That's my line of thought. Where the fuck does this go? Oh, hi there. What is this? What is this cute little ball for? Making a new friend. I, I spent way too much time fucking in photo mode looking at this motherfucker. They're just so goddamn adorable. I, 
I feel like I can't make that jump yet. Like I don't have that ability yet. I do want to go, however. Whoop. And check what's down here. Bastards. Nope. Ooh, maybe this will get me in that workshop. Smells worse than Grease does. Oh, you're a bad guy. You're you're a really tough one. Oh shit. Oh, you're a tough one. No bullshit. Throw it. I ah ah. Something over there, that's for sure. Okay, I'm guessing that's how I get back on the pipe. Oh! Oh god! Oh, motherfucker. Are you serious? place to study the sphere above. I can still feel the excitement. Nice. Turn that off. Cool. I like the exploration of this. Because, I mean, without the exploration, I would have no idea that there was a fucking boss toad to have to deal with. Which is why I'm going to go ahead now. This all just leads me to the same spot. Look at him. Over there with his three eyes. Oh shit. Well, you being all orange is gonna throw off how I fucking fight you. Ah, fucking bullshit. Need a stem. <laughs> Are you shitting me? That totally backfired. Hurry.
Come on. Ugh, god damn it. Oh, bullshit, I dodged. <laughs> Are you fucking with me? Yeah. Ah, fuck. Oh shit. That was close. Ah, fuck. Whew. You son of a bitch. Ogdo Bogdo defeated. Ogdo Bogdo. Motherfucker. He was a real jerk. Poor Boglin was killed. Was it trying to defend his family? A secret discovered. Alright, cool. So, exploring and discovering shit. Will give me some uh, some good rewards. It looks like. I I can't go down there. It looks like, just yet, at least. Yeah, I think I gotta get up there before I can go down there. All right. Fucking plants. Let's make our way back to the ship. We'll go ahead and inform them of our new location. Go ahead and meditate real quick while I'm at it. Right, let's go ahead and get that. Alright. Go ahead, I rested up. I uh, got some skills. Well, got a skill. We are looking good. Oh my god, you guys are adorable. You're just so goddamn cute. See, I want to say I could get there, but... I also feel if I get, like, if I do, I'm gonna die. Oh well, nothing mentioned, nothing gained. Nope. <laughs> okay. At least I don't have to wait through a long, uh, loading screen. I do feel like I'm missing something, though. Oops. 
What you scanning, buddy? Nice job. Boggling tunnel. You passed the test. So you knew about BD1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, BD1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? <laughs> get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! No! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of patrolling me fabric? Not really. Oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of Force-sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. A hollow what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Use the Force. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With that list of Force Sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look. Before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. Death mirrors Zepho. It's your choice. All right, cool. So it looks like I could go... Yeah, and start like mapping out where I go so it's not just okay we're done here on to the next location and to the next level and part of the story I have at least some influence that's before I do hey Grease what's this thing what you've never seen a terrarium before let's go ahead and do sure, some stuff don't they usually have plants in them well I've been a bit busy hauling you around the galaxy but you know, you could pay me back with some seeds. I thought you hated nature. When it's out there, you betcha. But when it's behind a comfortably thick wall of embarring glass, that's perfection. All right, I'll see if I can find any. Mm. So, seeds I collect will come here and just start growing, huh? I'm rooting for you. Okay. Okay. That's that's cool. It's good to know. Uh, Want to customize the saber? Um. Still only have those colors, so. Holy shit. That's very wide.
Valor and Wisdom just kind of makes that more solid. I like that look of just the thin neck. I'll go ahead and put on the umber the umber on, I guess. Rock the Valor and Wisdom as well. Alright, whatever. Yep. I think we're good there. Time to save.